What's up guys, it's Poir. The title update is finally out, bringing four new monsters, Seething, Lucent, and Metal Rafts, as well as an entire new augment system for both armor and weapons, on top of bringing back investigations from World, but with a twist. Though a lot of this stuff is confusing, especially how to unlock quote unquote five star tier anomaly quests. So I'm gonna explain how everything works, how to unlock them, the best way to gain investigations, and more. So if you find the video useful, make sure to give the video a like. First off, you need to be Master Rank 10 in order to start finding the new content. You should get an investigation from Bahari to start the agonizing journey that awaits you. Like World, investigations sometimes have a random nature to them, things like strict amount of feints, a shorter time limit, or even some limiting the amount of players that can join, although those seem to be really rare, thankfully. You can see which effects are present during the initial screen here. If the investigation has no conditions, that means it's just a plain old afflicted fight. Also like World, there is a sniff system where, during an investigation, you can find various gathering spots with a red glow, and picking this up will get you points to then trigger a new investigation being unlocked for you. And actually, you can get a ton of investigations through this, way more than simply finding the monster, and you're gonna want to do this to get as many chances of getting investigations. As in addition to quests being random, now we have a level system tied to investigations. Oh boy. If you haven't done much in Master Rank, you'll probably start at level 1 or like 11 for your first batch of investigations, but people with higher Master Rank can jump to like level 34 for example. But these levels are simple, they increase the health and damage of monsters, little by little, the higher the level. When you beat an investigation, generally, not always, you will receive one or several that are similar to it, and sometimes it'll increase by one, or even sometimes three to four levels. So beating a level 40 for example, could yield a level 43 after the quest. And finally, completing these investigations will contribute points to your Anomaly rank, which is a new separate rank similar to Master rank, but for investigations only. The higher this is, the higher level quests you can partake in. But this is where the problem comes into play. Anomaly 5-star monsters are only unlocked after Anomaly rank 81. After reaching that rank, you will unlock the normal Anomaly 5-star category. But before then, the only way to start having a chance to fight them is getting an investigation of them when doing level 51 or higher quests. And even then, they are random and rare to get. Meaning your first several hours in a new update is fighting the same old monsters you fought all month. A1 to 4, which wasn't really exciting. But once you do finally get an A5 quest though, generally it's easy sailing from there and you can finally start fighting new afflicted monsters. So the fastest way to get on that A5 wave is simply joining someone who has that quest already, beating it, and that should spawn investigations for you, although it is RNG. As said, you do need to be around level 50 rank or at the very least level 41 as per the join conditions. But aside from a friend having one and letting you join, you can also go to the join request board, search investigations to join, set a minimum level of 51, and then search a target, and then simply pick an A5 monster like Seregios or Rathalos and attempt to join. If you do not see them, then your anomaly rank is likely too low, but this is the fastest way to getting them. Otherwise, if solo for example, you will have to succumb to the RNG of doing many level 51 or higher quests to spawn in A5. Some say doing A4 level 51 or higher as well as multi-monster quests gives better chances at that, but regardless, make sure to take the time to gather those red anomaly spots at the quest start. You can get up to like 8 investigations total, and all members of the party who collect these will contribute to that. Similarly, breaking parts on monsters also can reward you more investigations too. So that is the key takeaway break monster parts, and collect those tracks for more quests. And with that, your reward for beating these investigation monsters is a new essence material needed to unlock the new armor augment system. There are three levels currently, Amber Essence unlocks the ability to augment Rarity 8 armor, Amber Plus is for Rarity 9, and Prime Amber Essence unlocks Rarity 10 armor, which Prime is only dropped from A5 monsters. And Amber Plus is from A3 to 4 tier monsters, I believe, and so on and so forth. Once you unlock the armor, then enters the augment system where you can roll new skills onto armor, aka more RNG gotcha with no control on the outcomes. Yay! In the menu, you have the ability to augment or reset the augment. Resetting just removes any current augment you had on, but doesn't return any materials you wasted. But when you do augment, you will consume essence and get an outcome. You can either choose to keep it or discard it. 
Once kept, you can still roll further, basically giving you infinite reroll, so long as you have essence. But on a new roll, it'll then give you a before and after look. This is sort of like the blue or red pill from The Matrix. Which one will you take? You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. If the new roll sucks, simply hit circle or choose the left confirm button to keep the roll you had prior. But if you do want the new roll, then you simply choose the right side, you will lose the effects from the left side, and that's replaced with what's on the right side. But keep in mind, whether you keep that roll or not, your essence to see that roll is consumed regardless. It regardless. <laughs> and as for the effects, sometimes you can get a skill, sometimes multiple skills, sometimes no skills at all. Sometimes you can get increased defense on the armor, sometimes you can get slots or a slot on the armor enhanced to the next tier, or, my favorite, you can lose skills. Dereliction? Gone. And sometimes not even with the benefit. Of course, for these, you simply don't accept them and keep your old roll and try again for another roll, but yeah, total and complete RNG. Luckily, Capcom made an oversight and there is a way to save scum augmentations which effectively let you reroll as much as you like without wasting material. I have a video guide on that if you want to check it out in the end screen annotation and pinned comment. This will likely get patched though, just like save scumming talismans was patched this update, so make use of it while you can. But there's more to investigations, there's also new afflicted parts dropped from investigation monsters, and these are used for weapon augmentations. Again, similar to world, you can add various effects like attack or element, or even slot upgrades, weapons. But thankfully, luckily, there's no RNG here. But some effects like slot upgrade take up 4 out of the 5 slots, meaning there's not much room to add anything else. The most attack you can add is 10, the most affinity is 5, and that's about it. They may expand the amount of slots in the future, but currently, these are very minor upgrades to weapons and aren't going to be that impactful, aside from maybe the slot upgrade or sharpness one for some weapons, letting them get purple sharpness easier. One last thing to note is Bihari will give research requests of a single monster that gives bonus anomaly points for completing an investigation, with those conditions usually with a level limit. Outside of just rank, you can get coins as well from doing 10 total requests, which you can then exchange for mantles or other materials from Bihari's shop. This one's an amazing change that they added this update, so really glad that's back. You can now get those mantles that you try so hard to get. And as far as coins, you do get one or a couple per investigation quest too. So that is the wrap up of the new systems. I was excited at first, but given my RNG of the armor system and investigation so far, kinda not liking it. I get RNG sort of extends player retention with a carrot to chase, but you can't really work your way toward an unlock or choose from a few skills. It is just complete RNG. Worse than Neo, I feel, as even that had a temper and skill transfer system to bypass that insufferable mechanic. Luckily, save scumming is possible to somewhat bypass losing all your mats from rolling, and well, PC can just mod whatever they want. But that's the guide, hope it helps you know everything you need to know. Let me know your thoughts on the update so far, the new systems, the new monsters. Do you love them? Hate them? Do you want to see these systems carried over to future games? Let me know below. New builds to come, so give the video a like, and check out the save scum method in the card right there. Comment down your thoughts below, and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more Sunbreak RNG epicness.